we're here in Portishead to meet possibly the most recognisable wild mammal in the UK. It's small, named after the hedges it forages under and is famously covered in spines. I remember seeing hedgehogs all the time as a child. They were the only wild animal that wouldn't run away when you got near. And I remember really distinctly going to the park and you'd see one curled up on the lawn and I'd be there waiting patiently for its face to pop out from underneath it. It's really sad to think that the children of today have probably never seen a hedgehog in the wild before. So we are going to a hedgehog rescue home to meet some. This is Yvonne and she's come to a hedgehog rescue home after she was found as a baby all on her own without her mum. Now she's going to stay here until she puts on more weight and then she'll be released back into the wild which is amazing but unfortunately for hedgehogs like Yvonne here life in the wild is really really hard. In Britain hedgehog numbers have gone from around 30 million in the 1950s to less than one million today and we're not even sure the exact reason why their numbers are declining so quickly but it looks like the main culprit are the hedgehog's greatest admirer, us. Urbanisation and intensive agriculture has fragmented and destroyed much of the hedgehog's natural habitat. Everything we build, fence or farm has divided these habitats into smaller ones where the risk to a hedgehog's life is even greater. There's less food, they're more exposed to predators and there's a greater risk of diseases and parasites spreading amongst these spiky communities. But what's really hard for a hedgehog is that there's not enough green corridors linking up all these new smaller habitats. So hedgehogs like Yvonne here has to somehow navigate across busy roads and through fenced gardens. Another reason why they're struggling is their diet. Hedgehogs aren't fussy eaters, they'll eat all kinds of insects, worms and slugs. But pesticides are reducing the amount of food available and things like slug pellets actually poison hedgehogs. One of the more peculiar behaviours of these curious creatures is that they're known to lick newly treated fences, so even your wood preserver is bad news. Some people think that the decline of hedgehogs is caused by an imbalance in a predator-prey relationship. Badgers are the main predator of the hedgehog, but they're also the biggest competition for food because they eat pretty much the same thing. But the problem is, as badger numbers are increasing, hedgehog numbers are declining. And yeah, you would expect this in a predator-prey relationship, but it's a bit more extreme. It is worth remembering that there's no direct evidence that badgers are to blame for the hedgehog decline. In fact, hedgehogs are declining whether badgers are present or not. But lack of cover and more exposure means that hedgehogs are like an easy target. We can't blame badgers for our poor management of the environment. So why should we care? Some animals like foxes and crows have managed to flourish in this changing environment. So why should we invest time and money in an animal that's struggling to cope with these changes? The simple answer is yes, we should care. Hedgehogs are an indicator species and they can tell us a lot about the health of our environment. They're a generalist animal that aren't fussy about the habitat they're in or the food they eat. So their decline tells us that the general quality of our environment has decreased. Whether that's because of a lack of macroinvertebrates like worms, or that wild habitats aren't connected by green corridors like hedges. There are plenty of reasons why we should look on the hedgehog as a warning sign that things need to change. Helping the hog can start in your garden because all the gardens in the UK make up about half a million hectares and we need to turn them into hedgehog havens. So what you could do, you could cut a hole in your fence about five inches, but make sure you ask your neighbour's permission first. And this will connect all of our gardens together, connecting the urban environment through hedgehog highways. You can put ramps into your ponds to give them a way out after a swim and even leave a corner of your garden to grow wild. And this will encourage them to come and visit. And if you're lucky, they might set up home. The good thing is, 
By turning our gardens into hedgehog havens, we're helping out all wildlife. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and please share your hedgehog stories in the comments below. Like when did you last see one in the wild? We'd love to hear what you have to say. And thanks for watching.